This video is created by Nihar Dash from YouTube. This video is created by Nihar Dash from YouTube. List of World Heritage Sites in India Whole Things is written by Nihar Dash for cultural and also research purpose The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, World Heritage Sites are the important places of cultural or natural heritage as described in the UNESCO World Heritage Convention, established in 1972.1 India accepted the convention on 14 November 1977, making its sites eligible for inclusion on the list. Vishvanatha Temple, Kajuraho, in the Kajuraho Group of Monuments UNESCO World Heritage Site. The first sites to be inscripted were Ahanta Caves, Ellora Caves, Agrafort, and Taj Mahal, of which all were inscribed in the 1983 session of the World Heritage Committee. The latest site to be inscribed is Dalavira, Gujarat in 2021.2. As of July 2021, 19 of the 36 states and union territories of India are home to the World Heritage Sites, with Maharashtra having highest number of sites, 5.3 at present, there are 40 World Heritage Sites located in India. Out of these, 32 are cultural, 7 are natural, and 1 is mixed, meeting both cultural and natural criteria 4 is determined by the organization selection criteria. India has the sixth largest number of sites in the world. Nihar Dash also single handed made to fulfill the article for educational purpose. Ahanta Caves Ahanta Caves written by Nihar Dash Maharashtra 2nd century BC to the 6th century 242, 1983, I, I, E, by the Ahanta Caves are Hindu and Buddhist caves built in two phases. The first was from the reign of Emperor Ashoka. The second, further additions were made during the 5th and 6th centuries AD of the Gupta period. The caves depict richly decorated fresco paintings, reminiscent of the Sijariya paintings and sculptures in Sri Lanka. There are 31 rock-cut cave monuments which are unique representations of the religious art of Hinduism and Buddhism. Two Ellora Caves written by Nihar Dash Kailash Temple, Ellora Maharashtra 600-1000 AD 243, 1983. I, E, by, the Ellora Caves, also known as the Ellora Complex, are a cultural mix of religious arts of Hinduism, Buddhism, and Jainism. Thirty-four monasteries and temples sculpted continuously into rock walls of a high basalt cliff or seen long length of 2 km, 1.2 m. Dated to 600 to 1000 AD, they are a reflection of artistic creation of the ancient civilization of India. 12. 3. Agrafort Agrafort written by Nihar Dash Uttar Pradesh Agrafort Uttar Pradesh India 16th century 251, 1983, e.e. the Agrafort, also known as the Red Fort of Agra, represents mul opulence and power as the centerpiece of their empire. It was inscribed in the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1982, under category EE as a cultural monument. The fortress is located on the right bank of the Yamuna River, built in red sandstone, covering a length of 2.5 km, 1.6 m. It is surrounded by a moat which encloses several palaces, towers, and mosques. They were built from the 16th century onward until the early 18th century. This corresponds to Emperor Akbar's reign in the 16th century to that of Aurangzeb in the early part of the 18th century, including the contributions made during the reign of Jahangir and Shah Jahan of the Mughal rule in India. The impressive structures built within the precincts of the fort are the Khaz Mahal, the Shish Mahal, Muhammad Burj, an octagonal tower, Duanai Khaz, 1637, Duanai Am, White Marble Mosque or the Pearl Mosque, built during 1646-1653, and the Najina Masjid, 1658-1707. These monuments are remarkable for the fusion of Persian art of the Tinurid and Indian art forms. It is near the famous Taj Mahal, with a buffer zone separating the two monuments. 1314. 4. Taj Mahal written by Nihar Dash Taj Mahal at sunrise, Uttar Pradesh Agra, Uttar Pradesh 17th century 252, 1983 I. The Taj Mahal, one of the seven wonders of the world, is a mausoleum a funerary mosque. It was built by Emperor Shah Jahan in memory of his third wife Begum Mumtaz Mahal, who had died in 1631. It is a large edifice made in white marble in typical Mul architecture, a style that combines elements from Persian, Islamic, and Indian architectural styles. 
This much acclaimed masterpiece was built over a 16-year period between 1631 and 1648, under the chief architect Ustad Ahmed Lahori, supported by several thousand artisans under the guidance of an imperial committee. It was inscribed in the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1983, under Category I, as a cultural property monument. It is said amidst the vast mall gardens, which covers 17 hectares, 42 acres, of land on the right bank of the Yamuna River. It has an octagonal layout marked by four exclusive minarets at four corners, with a pristine elevation of a central bulbous dome, below which the tombs are laid in an underground chamber. Calligraphic inscriptions encrusted in polychromatic Pierre Dura, decorative bands and floral arabesques, glorify the monument's graphic beauty, and provide a picture-perfect impression to the viewers. One. Five Sun Temple, written by Nihar Dash Konarak Front View of Konark Sun Temple Puri District, Adisha 13th Century 246, 1984, I.E. by, the Konark Sun Temple is a 13th Century Sun Temple, also known as the Black Pagoda, at Konark, in Adisha. Located on the east coast of the Bay of Bengal in the Mahanadi Delta, it is built in the form of the chariot of Surya, Arka, the sun god with 24 wheels, and is heavily decorated with symbolic stone carvings, and led by a team of seven horses. It was constructed from oxidizing weathered ferruginous colored sandstone by King Nirasimhadeva I of the Eastern Ganga dynasty. The temple is one of the most renowned temples in India, and is a World Heritage Site inscribed in 1984 as a cultural property under categories I, E, and Vi. Six group of monuments at Mahabalipuram written by Nihar Dash View of Shore Temple Mahabalipuram, Tamil Nadu 7th and 8th centuries 249, 1984, I, I, E, Vi. The group of monuments at Mahabalipuram, in Tamil Nadu, about 58 kilometers, 36 mi, from Chennai, were built by the Pallava kings in the 7th and 8th centuries. The town has gained prominence under the rule of Mamala. These monuments have been carved out of rock along the Coromandel coast. The temple town has approximately 40 monuments, including the largest open-air Bas relief in the world. It was inscribed under the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1984 as a cultural heritage under categories I, I, E, Vi. The monuments inscribed are the Ratha temples, temples in the form of chariots, mandapas, eleven cave sanctuaries covered with Bas reliefs, rock relief of descent of the Ganges, which is the largest open-air rock relief also known as Arjuna's Penance or Bajaratha's Penance. 7 Kazaranga National Park written by Nihar Dash Great Indian One-Horned Rhinoceros Assam 20th Century 337, 1985, X, X Kazaranga, located in the northeastern state of Assam in the floodplains of the Brahmaputra River South Bank, was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1985 for its unique natural environment. It was first established as a reserved forest in 1908 to protect the dwindling numbers of rhinoceros. It underwent several transformations over the years, as the Kazaranga Game Sanctuary in 1916, renamed Kazaranga Wildlife Sanctuary in 1950, and declared a national park in 1974. The park, which covers an area of 42,996 hectares, 106,250 acres, has the distinction of being home to the largest population of the great Indian one-horned rhinoceros. There are many other mammals and bird species in the sanctuary. 21 22 23. 8 Manas Wildlife Sanctuary, written by Nihar Dash Kapt Langer in Manas Wildlife Sanctuary, in Assam Manas National Park, Assam 20th Century 338, 1985. Vai, X, X the Manas Wildlife Sanctuary, located in the northeastern state of Assam, covers an area of 50,000 hectares, 120,000 acres, in the plains of the Manas River, in the foothills of the Himalayas, on the border with Bhutan, contiguous with the Manas Wildlife Sanctuary in Bhutan. It was inscribed as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1985 for its unique natural environment. The sanctuary is the habitat of several species of plants, 21 most threatened species of mammals, out of 55 mammal species in the sanctuary, 36 reptile species, 3 amphibians and 350 species of birds. Endangered species include 
the tiger, pygmy hog, clouded leopard, sloth bear, Indian rhinoceros, wild buffaloes, the only pure strain of buffalo in India, Indian elephants, golden langur and Bengal florican. In 1907, it was declared a reserve forest, a sanctuary in 1928, and became a tiger reserve in 1973, as part of Project Tiger, and a World Heritage Site in December 1985. Plants listed under the broad category of Burma monsoon forests include 285 species of Dicotyledons and 98 species of Monocotyledons. Since 1992, the sanctuary was listed under the World Heritage in Danger 24-25-26, but removed in 2011 after significant conservation efforts. Nine Kiladio National Park written by Nihar Dash Saras Crane, Kiladio National Park Rajasthan 1981 340, 1985, X, the Kiladio National Park in Bharatpur, is located within the Indus Ganges Monsoon Forest Biogeographical Province. It extends over an area of 2,783 hectares, 6,880 acres. It was declared a national park in 1982. In 1900 it was a duck hunting reserve of the Maharajas of Bharatpur, then became a bird sanctuary in 1956, with the Maharajas exercising shooting rights until 1972. It was recorded as a Ramsar wetland site in 1981. It was inscribed in the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1985 under category, X, as a natural property. The area of the wetland of the park shrinks to 1,000 hectares, 2,500 acres, during most of the year. It has a human-built environment created partly by embankments dividing the area into 10 units, and has a sluice-controlled arrangement to maintain the water level. It is famous for 364 species of wintering birds that flock in large numbers, arriving from distant countries of Afghanistan, Turkmenistan, China, and Siberia. It is surrounded by 17 villages in Bharatpur City.2728. Ten Churches and Convents of Goa written by Nihar Dash Basilica Dubam Jesus, Belha Ghost Kajit in Goa Belha Goa, Old Goa, Goa 16th and 18th centuries 234, 1986, i.e., if, by, the churches and convents of Goa are monuments inscribed by UNESCO under the World Heritage List in 1986 as cultural property, under criteria, i.e., if, and, by, which were built by the Portuguese colonial rulers of Goa between the 16th and 18th centuries. These monuments are mainly in the former capital of El Hagoa. El Hagoa is also known as Gom, Pornam Goy, Adlam Goy, Old Goa or Sabicham Goy, where Saber Guncho Sabe refers to Saint Francis Xavier. The most significant of these monuments is the Basilica of Bomb Jesus, which enshrines the tomb containing the relics of Saint Francis Xavier. These monuments of Goa, known as the Rome of the Orient, were established by different Catholic religious orders from November 25, 1510 onward. There were originally 60 churches of which some of the surviving monuments in the city of El Hagoa are the St. Catherine Chapel, where one of the first, probably only beside the Angediva Island, Latin Rite Mass in Asia, was held on St. Catherine's Beast Day, November 25, 1510, the church and convent of St. Francis of Assisi, the Sea Cathedral of Santa Caterina dedicated to St. Catherine of Alexandria, the Jesuit Borea Jesuci Basilica or Basilica du Bom Jesus, Igreja de São Francisco de Assis, also known as Assisacia San Francisco Chiagers, the Vitina Igreja da Divina Providencia, São Caetano, also known as San Caetano Chiagers, or the Church of St. Cajetan and its seminary, resembles Basilica Papel de San Pietro in Vaticano, Igreja de Nossa Senhora do Rosario, also known as Rus I Sibinici Igers, Church of Our Lady of the Rosary, and Igreja de Santo Agostinho, also known as San Agustinici Igers, Church of St. Augustine, only the Belfry stands today in some graves, including the Georgian Orthodox Church Saint, St. Ketivan, who was also a queen. These monuments were forerunners in establishing an ensemble of the Manuline, Mannerist, and Baroque art forms in the Asian region. The monuments are built in laterites, and the walls are plastered with limestone mortar mixed with broken shells. For this reason, the monuments need constant maintenance to prevent deterioration due to monsoon climatic conditions. 2930. 
11. Kajuraho Group of Monuments Written by Nihar Dash Kajuraho Temple Madhya Pradesh 950 AD to 1050 AD 240, 1986, i.e., the Kajuraho Group of Monuments attributed to the Chandela dynasty which, under sovereignty of Gurjar Pratihars reached its glory. The ensemble of monuments that have survived belong to the Hindu and Jain religious practices with striking fusion of sculpture and architecture. The best example of this outstanding feature is seen in the Kandariya Temple. Of the 85 temples built, only 22 temples have survived in an area of 6 km2, which represents the Chandela period of the 10th century. Located in the Indian state of Madhya Pradesh, it was inscribed by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site, a cultural property on October 15, 1982, for its unique original artistic creation and proof of the Chandela culture that existed prior to the Muslim invasion of India in the early 12th century. 3132. Twelve group of monuments at Hampi written by Nihar Dash Virapaksha Temple at Hampi Vijayanagara District, Karnataka 14th and 16th centuries 241, 1986, i.e., if, the group of monuments at Hampi comprise a somber, but ostentatious Hampi town, on the banks of the river Tungabhadra in Karnataka. Hampi subsumes the ruins of Vijayanagara, which was the former capital of the powerful Vijayanagara Empire. Dravidian temples and palaces abound in Hampi. These won the admiration of travelers between the 14th and 16th centuries. Hampi, as an important Hindu and Jain religious center, has the Virapaksha Temple, different from Patatakal's Virapaksha Temple, and several other monuments, which are part of the cultural heritage site inscribed under category, i.e., and, if, in the UNESCO World Heritage List. 3334. 13 Fatebur Sikri written by Nihar Dash Panch Mahal, Fatebur Sikri Balan Darwaza, Fatebur Sikri Tomb of Salam Chishti, Fatebur Sikri Uttar Pradesh 16th century 255, 1986, i.e., if Fatebur Sikri, the city of victory, was built during the second half of the 16th century by the Maul Emperor Akbar, 1556-1605. It was the capital of the empire and seat of the Grand Mul Court, but only for 14 years. Despite bearing exceptional testimony to the Mul civilization at the end of the 16th century, it had to be abandoned due to the twin reasons of lack of water and unrest in northwest India, leading the emperor to shift the capital to Lahore. Akbar decided to construct it in 1571, on the same site, where the birth of his son, the future emperor Jahangir, was predicted by the wise Saint Sheikh Salam Chisti, 1480-1572. The work, supervised by the great Mul himself, was completed in 1573. The complex of monuments and temples, all uniformly in Mul architectural style, includes one of the largest mosques in India, the Jama Masjid, the Bulan Darwaza, the Panj Mahal, and the tomb of Salam Chishti. The English traveller Ralph Vich considered the city in 1585 as considerably larger than London and more populous. Its form and layout strongly influenced the evolution of Indian town planning, notably at Shah Jahanabad, Old Delhi. The city has numerous other palaces, public buildings and mosques, as well as living areas for the court, the army, servants of the king, and for an entire population whose history has not been recorded. 3536. 14 Group of Monuments at Patetical written by Nihar Dash A Panoramic View of Group of Monuments at Patetical Virpaksha Temple at Patetical. JPG Jain Narayana Temple at Patetical. Bagalka District, Karnataka 8th Century 239, 1987. E. If, the group of monuments in Patetical designated under UNESCO World Heritage List, in 1987, cover a remarkable series of nine Hindu temples, as well as a Jain sanctuary in northern Karnataka. In this group of temples, the Virapaksha Temple, built C740 by Queen Lakmahadevi to commemorate her husband's, King Vikramaditya II, victory over the Pallava kings from the south, is considered the most outstanding architectural edifice, this is different from the Virapaksha temple at Hampi. These are a remarkable combination of temples built by the Chalukya dynasty in the 6th to the 8th century at Ahol, Badami, and Patatakal, the latter city was known as the Crown Rubies. The temples represent a remarkable fusion of the architectural features of northern, Nagara, and southern, Dravida, India. 
Patatakal is considered a Hindu holy city, and within the heritage complex are eight temples dedicated to Shiva, a nine Shaivite sanctuary called the Papanatha Temple, and a Jain Narayana Temple. 3738. 15 Elephanta Caves written by Nihar Dash Elephanta Caves Dramurti and Elephanta Caves Maharashtra 5th to 8th centuries 244 Rev. 1987 i.e., the Elephanta Caves are a network of sculpted caves located on Elephanta Island, or Girapuri, literally the city of caves, in Mumbai Harbour, 10 km mi, to the east of the city of Mumbai. The island, located on an arm of the Arabian Sea, consists of two groups of caves, the first is a large group of five Hindu caves, the second, a smaller group of two Buddhist caves. The Hindu caves contain rock-cut stone sculptures, representing the Shaiva Hindu sect, dedicated to the god Shiva. The rock-cut architecture of the caves, is dated to between the 5th and 8th centuries, although the identity of the original builders is still a subject of debate. The caves are hewn from solid basalt rock. Renovated in the 1970s, the caves were designated a World Heritage Site in 1987, to preserve the artwork. 3940. 16 Great Living Chola Temples, written by Nihar Dash Chola Temple Sculpture Brihadaswarar Temple, Gangakonda Chalapuram, Tamil Nadu 11th and 12th century 250 bis, 1987, i.e., the Great Living Chola Temples, built by kings of the Chola Empire, stretched over all of Tamil Nadu. This cultural heritage site includes three great temples of the 11th and 12th centuries namely, the Brihadasbara Temple at Thanjavur, the Brihadasbara Temple at Gangik and Echalisbram, and the Arabetasbara Temple at Durasaram. The Temple of Gangik and Echalisbram, built by Rajendra I, was completed in 1035. Its 53 meters, 174 feet, Vimana, Sanctum Tower, has recessed corners and a graceful upward curving movement, contrasting with the straight and severe tower at Thanjavur. The Arabetasbara Temple Complex, built by Raharaja II, at Durasaram, features a 24 meters 79 feet Vimana, and a stone image of Shiva. The temples testify to the brilliant achievements of the Chola in architecture, sculpture, painting and bronze casting. The site was inscribed under UNESCO World Heritage List in 1987 as Cultural Heritage under Criteria, i.e., and, e.4142. 17 Sundarbans National Park written by Nihar Dash Sundarbans Map Sundarban Mangrove Forests Big Crocodile in the Park West Bengal 1939 and 1982 452, 1987, X, and, X, the Sundarbans National Park, the largest estuarine mangrove forest in the world, is a national park, tiger reserve, world heritage site and a biosphere reserve located in the Sundarbans Ganges River Delta bordering the Bay of Bengal, in West Bengal. It is also on the UNESCO World Network of Biosphere Reserves. The Sundarbans as a whole encompasses 10,000 km2, 3,900 sq mi, of land and water, about 5,980 km2, 2,310 sq mi, in Bangladesh and the balance is in India. It is integral to the world's largest delta of 80,000 km2 formed from sediments deposited by the three great rivers, the Ganges, the Brahmaputra and the Meghna, which confluence in the Bengal Basin. The entire basin is traversed by a complex network of interconnecting waterways. Though, the history of protection in the area of Indian part of the Sundarbans dates back to 1878, it was declared as the core area of Sundarbans Tiger Reserve in 1973, and a wildlife sanctuary in 1977 of 133,000 hectare core area within the 258,500 hectares, 639,000 acres, Sundarbans Tiger Reserve. On May 4, 1984, it was declared a national park. It was inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1987 as a natural property under category, X, and, X. This region is densely covered by mangrove forests, and is one of the largest reserves for the Bengal tiger. It is also home to a variety of bird, reptile and invertebrate species, including the saltwater crocodile. 4344. 18 Nanda Devi and Valley of Flowers National Parks written by Nihar Dash Valley of Flowers Nanda Devi in the National Park Uttarakhand 1939 and 1982 335 bis, 1988, 2005, Vai, X, the Nanda Devi and Valley of Flowers National Parks, are nestled high in West Himalaya. Valley of Flowers National Park, is renowned for its meadows of endemic alpine flowers and outstanding natural beauty. 
It is located in the Garwal Himalayo Chamoli district of Uttarakhand. This richly diverse area is also home to rare and endangered animals, including the Asiatic black bear, snow leopard, brown bear and blue sheep. The gentle landscape of the Valley of Flowers National Park complements the rugged mountain wilderness of Nanda Devi National Park. Together, they encompass a unique transition zone between the mountain ranges of the Zanskar and Great Himalaya. The park stretches over an expanse of 87.5 km2, 33.8 sq m. It was established as a national park on November 6, 1982. However, it was initially established as a game sanctuary on January 7, 1939. It was inscribed under the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1988 with extension in 2005 under category, VAI, and, X.4546 together, they comprise the Nanda Devi Biosphere Reserve, which is on the UNESCO World Network of Biosphere Reserves since 2004. 19 Buddhist Monuments at Sanchi written by Nihar, Dash Sanchi Matthew Pradesh 3rd and 1st centuries BC to the 12th century AD 524, 1989. I, I, E, IV, VI, the Buddhist monuments at Sanchi, located 45 kilometers, 28 mi, from Bhopal in the Indian state of Madhya Pradesh, are a group of Buddhist monuments dated between 200 BC and 100 BC. The site, however, has been conjectured to have been developed in the 3rd century BC, when Emperor Ashoka of the Mauryan Empire ruled. The principal monument is Stupa 1 dated to the 2nd century and 1st century BC. These Buddhist sanctuaries were active Buddhist religious monuments, which flourished until the 12th century. The sanctuary has a plethora of monolithic pillars, palaces, temples, and monasteries in different status of preservation. It was inscribed as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO on January 24, 1989, for its unique cultural importance. It was discovered only in 1818 in a deserted state of preservation. Archaeological excavations undertaken thereafter revealed 50 unique monuments. 47 25 48. 20 Humane's Tomb, Delhi written by Nihar Dash Front View Delhi Humane's Tomb Delhi 1572 232, 1993, i.e., if, Humane's Tomb, Delhi, the first tomb built with several innovations, set at the center of luxurious gardens with water channels, was the precursor monument to the Taj Mahal, built a century later. It was built in 1570, and was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Monument in 1993 for its cultural importance. It was built in 1569-1570 by the second Mughal Emperor Humayun's widow Biga Begum, Haji Begum. Its architecture is credited to Mirza Giyaf, and its Mughal architectural style has been acclaimed as the necropolis of the Mughal dynasty for its double-domed elevation provided with chatras. Apart from the tomb of Humayun, the funerary also has 150 tombs of various members of the royal family. The tomb is built with a char ba, fourfold, layout with two gates, one on the south and the other on the west. It has a number of water channels, a pavilion and a bath. The tomb set on an irregular octagonal plinth, has a raised dome of 42.5 meters, 139 feet, in height, covered by marble slabs and decorated with chatras.4950. 21 Cut Minor and its Monuments, written by Nihar Dash Delhi Front View with Reflections, Central Water Channel and the Char Ba Garden, Delhi Iron Pillar Delhi Late 12th Century 233, 1993, IV, the Cut Minor and its Monuments, Delhi, located to the south of Delhi, is a complex with the Cut Minor as the centerpiece, which is a red sandstone tower of 72.5 meters, 238 feet, height with a base of 14.32 meters, 47.0 feet, reducing to 2.75 meters, 9.0 feet, diameter at the top. Built in the beginning of the 13th century, the complex of structures comprises itineraries, the Alai Darwaza Gate, 1311, the Alai Minor, an incomplete mound of the intended minor or tower, the Qubit al-Islam Mosque, the earliest existing mosque in India, the tomb of Iltutmish, and an iron pillar. The complex is a testimony to the Islamic depredations during the period as seen from the materials used for building the complex which are those that were removed. A shining iron pillar of 7.02 meters, 23.0 feet, height, without any trace of rusting, erected at the center of the complex, with inscriptions in Sanskrit, of the Chandragupta II period is a mute witness. 
history records its construction, initially by Kuchibudan A back in 1192, its completion by Ilchumish, 121136, and again by Laudan Kalji, 1296-1316. It underwent several renovations by subsequent rulers, following damage to the structures due to lightning. It was inscribed under the UNESCO World Heritage List under Category I for its unique representation of the Islamic architectural and artistic excellence. 5152. 22 Mountain Railways of India written by Nihar, Dash Darjeeling Himalayan Railway Darjeeling Himalayan Railway, 1999, Darjeeling, West Bengal India 19th and early 20th centuries 944 Tur, 1999, 2005, 2008, I, if, the mountain railways of India represent a collective listing of the Darjeeling Himalayan Railway, the Nalgiri Mountain Railway and the Kalka Shimla Railway under the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Two railways, the Darjeeling Himalayan Railway, 1881, and the Kalka Shimla Railway, 1898, are located in the rugged hill regions of the Himalayas of northern India and the other two, the Nalgiri Mountain Railway, 1908, and the Matharan Hill Railway, 1907, are located in the rugged hill regions of the western Ghats of southern India. The World Heritage UNESCO recognition of these mountain railways of India has been stated, as for being outstanding examples of bold, ingenious engineering solutions for the problem of establishing an effective rail link through a rugged, mountainous terrain. The Darjeeling Himalayan Railway was recognized first in 1999, the Nalgiri Mountain Railway followed suite as an extension to the site in 2005, and in 2008 the Kalkashima Railway was further added as an extension, and the three together have been titled as Mountain Railways of India under criteria, i.e., if under the region in the Asia-Pacific. The claim of the Matharan Hill Railway, the fourth mountain railway, is pending acceptance by the international body.5354. 23 Mahabadhi Temple Complex at Bad Gaya written by Nihar Dash Mahabadhi Temple, and the Badhi tree to its left, Bihar Bihar 3rd century BC, 5th and 6th century AD, and 19th century 1056 Rev, 2002, I, I, E, if, by the Mahabadhi Temple Complex at Bad Gaya, Buddha Gaya, spread over an area of 4.86 hectares, 12.0 acres, was inscribed in the UNESCO World Heritage List I as a unique property of cultural and archaeological importance. The first temple was built by Emperor Ashoka in the 3rd century BC, 260 BC, around the Bodhi tree Ficus Religiosa, to the west of the temple. However, the temples see now are dated between 5th and 6th centuries AD. The structures have been built in bricks. Revered and sanctified is the place, where Siddhartha Gautama Buddha was enlightened in 531 BC at age 35, and then propagated his divine knowledge of Buddhism to the world, it has been the ultimate temple for reverential worship, over the last several centuries, by Buddhists of all denominations, from all over the world who visit on pilgrimage. The main temple is 50 meters, 160 feet, in height, built in Indian architectural style, dated between 5th and 6th centuries, and it is the oldest temple in the Indian subcontinent built during the golden age of Indian culture credited to the Gupta period. Sculpted balustrades of the Ashokan times, 3rd century BC, are preserved in the archaeological museum located within the temple complex. 5556. 24 Rock Shelters of Bambetka written by Nihar Dash Bambetka Cave Paintings Bambetka Caves Matthew Pradesh 30,000 years 925, 2003, E, B, the rock shelters of Bambetka described in the UNESCO inscription as the site complex, a magnificent repository of rock paintings within natural rock shelters is located in the foothills of the Vindhya range of hills in the central Indian state of Madhya Pradesh. It is spread in sandstone formations extending over an area of 1893 hectares with a buffer zone 10,280 hectares, 25,400 acres. The rock shelters, discovered only in 1957, comprise a group of five clusters of rock shelters with paintings that are inferred to date from the Mesolithic period right through to the historical period, with the 21 villages surrounding them reflecting the traditions displayed in the rock paintings. The unique rock art has been discovered in 400 painted shelters spread over an area of 1,892 hectares amidst dense forest with high diversity of flora and fauna, with some of the shelters dated from 100,000 BC, late Julian, to 1,000 AD.
It was inscribed as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 2003 as a unique cultural property representing a convergence displayed in the art form between the people and the landscape with links to the hunting-gathering economy of the past. 255758. 25 Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus written by Nihar Dash, formerly Victoria Terminus, Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus Maharashtra 1887-1888-945 Rev. 2004, i.e., if, the Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus is a historic railway station in Mumbai, which serves as the headquarters of the Central Railways. It is one of the busiest railway stations in India, and serves Central Railway trains terminating in Mumbai as well as the Mumbai Suburban Railway. The station was designed by Frederick William Stevens, a consulting architect in 1887-1888. It took 10 years to complete, and was named Victoria Terminus in honor of the Queen and Empress Victoria. It was opened on the date of her Golden Jubilee in 1887. This famous architectural landmark in Gothic style was built as the headquarters of the Great Indian Peninsular Railway. In 1996, in response to demands by the Shiv Sena, and in keeping with the policy of renaming locations with Indian names, the station was renamed by the state government after Chhatrapati Shivaji, the famed 17th-century Maratha king. On July 2, 2004, the station was nominated as a World Heritage Site by the World Heritage Committee of UNESCO.5960. 26 Champaner Pavagat Archaeological Park written by Nihar Dash Pagadha Hill Gujarat Prehistoric, an 8th to 14th centuries 1101, 2004, e. if, v. by Champaner Pavagat Archaeological Park is situated in the Panchahal district in Gujarat, India. It was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2004 as a cultural site. There is a concentration of largely unexcavated archaeological, historic and living cultural heritage properties cradled in an impressive landscape which includes prehistoric, chalcolithic, sites, a hill fortress of an early Hindu capital, and remains of the 16th century capital of the state of Gujarat. The site also includes, among other vestiges, fortifications, palaces, religious buildings, residential precincts, agricultural structures and water installations, from the 8th to the 14th centuries. The Kalikamata Temple and Jain Temple on top of the Pavagat Hill is considered to be an important shrine, attracting large numbers of pilgrims throughout the year. The site is the only complete and unchanged Islamic pre Mal city. 6162. 27 Red Fort Complex written by Nihar Dash Red Fort Delhi 1648 231 Rev. 2007, i.e., e. by the Red Fort Complex, also known as Lal Kila, is a palace fort built in the 17th century by Shah Jahan, 1628 58, the fifth Mal Emperor, as part of his new capital city of Shah Jahanabad. Located to the north of Delhi, it represents the glory of the Mal rule, and is considered the high point of Mal architectural, artistic aesthetic creativity. The architectural design of the structures built within the fort represents a blend of Persian, Timuri, and Indian architectural styles. Isfahan, the Persian capital is said to have provided the inspiration to build the Red Fort complex. The planning and design of this complex, in a geometrical grid plan with pavilion structures, was the precursor of several monuments which were built later in Rajasthan, Delhi, Agra and other places. The palace complex has been fortified by an enclosure wall built with red sandstone, hence the name Red Fort. It is adjacent to the Salimgar Fort on its north, built by Islam Shah Suri in 1546, and is now part of the Red Fort complex. Area covered 120 acres, under the revised inscription of the UNESCO World Heritage List under categories, I, I, E, and, by. Built between 1639 and 1648, enclosing an area of size 656 meters, 2,152 feet, x 328 meters, 1,076 feet, and raising to a height of 23 meters, 75 feet. On the right bank of the Yamuna River, it is linked to the Salimgar Fort through a bridge over an old river channel, now a city road. The palace within the fort complex, located behind a Duan Iam, Hall of Public Audience, comprises a series of richly engraved marble palace pavilions, interconnected by water channels called the Narai Behishit meaning the Stream of Paradise, the Duan Ikaz, Private Audience Hall, several other essential private structures, and also the Modi Masjid, Pearl Mosque built by Emperor Aurangzeb. 6364. 
28 the gentermanter Jaber didn't buy any her dash gentermanter Japer Rajasthan 1727 and 1734 1338 2010 e if the gentermanter in Japer is a collection of architectural astronomical instruments built by Maharaja King Jai Singh to at his then new capital of Japer between 1727 and 1734 it is modeled after the one that he had built at the Mull capital of Delhi he had constructed a total of five such facilities at different locations, including the ones at Delhi and Jaipur. The Jaipur Observatory is the largest and best preserved of these, and has a set of some 20 main fixed instruments built in masonry. It has been inscribed as cultural property on the UNESCO World Heritage List as an expression of the astronomical skills and cosmological concepts of the court of a scholarly prince at the end of the Mal period. 6566. 29 Western Ghats Agasthamalai Peak written by Nihar, Dash Agasthamalai Subcluster, Kerala, 2012 The Western Ghats, also known as the Sahyadri Mountains, a mountain range along the western side of India and one of the world's 10 hottest biodiversity hotspots, subcluster nomination 67, 68, 69 A total of 39 properties, including national parks, wildlife sanctuaries and reserve forests, were designated as World Heritage Sites, 20 in the state of Kerala, 10 in Karnataka, 5 in Tamil Nadu and 4 in Maharashtra. 7071. 30 Hill Forts of Rajasthan Chaturgra Fort written by Nihar Dash Chaturgra 7th to 16th CENTURIES 72 247. 2013, i.e., the hill forts of Rajasthan, are a series of sites located on rocky outcrops of the Arabalus mountain range in Rajasthan. They represent a typo of Rajput military hill architecture, a style characterized by its mountain peak settings, utilizing the defensive properties of the terrain. These hill forts in Rajasthan represent Rajput military strongholds across a vast range of geographical and cultural zones. The number of hill forts is said to express the development of Rajput defensive architecture, and are examples of Rajput military architecture. Rajput forts are well known for their defensive architecture. They enclose large territories, and even complete villages in walled compounds. The property consists of Chitter Fort, Kambalgra Fort, Ranthambar Fort, Gagrin Fort, Amer Fort, Jaisamar Fort. These fort complexes include palaces, Hindu and Jain temples, urban centers and trading centers. 73 Due to the variety of built structures in each hill fort, only the most significant elements of each complex are described. 7475. 31 Rani Kai Vav, the Queen Stepwell, written by Nihar Dash Rani Kai Vav, Peyton, Gujarat Peyton, Gujarat 11th century AD 2014 Rani Kai Vav, the Queen Stepwell, at Peyton, Gujarat, is a famous stepwell it is famous for its size and sculpture. The length of Rani Kai Vav is more than 64 meters, 210 feet, long 20 meters, 66 feet, wide and 27 meters, 89 feet, deep and there are more than 500 sculptures of God. Most of the sculptures are in devotion to Vishnu, in the forms of Dus Avatars Kalki, Rama, Mahisasaradini, Narsan, Vaiman, Varahi, and others representing their return to the world. Nag Kanya, Eugenie Beautiful Women, Apsar showcasing 16 different styles of makeup to look more attractive called Salashringer.76 77 78. 32 Great Himalayan National Park written by Nihar Dash Great Himalayan National Park, Kalu, Himachal Pradesh India Himachal Pradesh 2014 The Great Himalayan National Park at Kalu, Himachal Pradesh, is characterized by high alpine peaks, alpine meadows and riverine forests. The 90,540 hectares property includes the upper mountain glacial and snow melt water source origins of several rivers, and the catchments of water supplies that are vital to millions of downstream users. The GHNPCA protects the monsoon-affected forests and alpine meadows of the Himalayan Front Ranges. It is part of the Himalaya Biodiversity Hotspot and includes 25 forest types along with a rich assemblage of fauna species, several of which are threatened. This gives the site outstanding significance for biodiversity conservation.79. 33 Archaeological Site of Nalanda Mahabharo Ditton by Nihar Dash Nalanda, Bihar Ruins of Nalanda, Bihar India Bihar 5th to 12th centuries 2016 The Nalanda Mahabharo site is in the state of Bihar, in northeastern India. It comprises the archaeological remains of a monastic and scholastic institution dating from the 3rd century BCE to the 13th century CE. 
it includes dupas, shrines, viharas, residential and educational buildings, and important artworks in stucco, stone and metal. Nalanda stands out as the most ancient university of the Indian subcontinent. It engaged in the organized transmission of knowledge over an uninterrupted period of 800 years. The historical development of the site testifies to the development of Buddhism into a religion and the flourishing of monastic and educational traditions. 34 Kangchenzunga National Park written by Nihar Dash The Gocha Law in Kangchenzunga National Park, Sikkim, India Sikkim 2016 Located at the heart of the Himalayan range in northern India, state of Sikkim, the Kangchenzunga National Park includes a unique diversity of plains, valleys, lakes, glaciers and spectacular, snow-capped mountains covered with ancient forests, including the world's third highest peak, Mount Kangchenzunga.8182. 35 The architectural work of Le Corbusier written by Nihar Dash The Palace of Assembly, Capital Complex, Chandigarh Chandigarh 20th Century 2016 Chosen from the work of Le Corbusier, the 17 sites comprising this transnational serial property are spread over seven countries. Urban and architectural work of Le Corbusier in Chandigarh is home to numerous architectural projects of Le Corbusier, Pierre Ginerit, Matthew Nowicki and Albert Mayer.83. 36 Historic City of Ahmadabad written by Nihar Dash Teen Darwaza of Ahmedabad Ahmedabad, Gujarat 15th century 2017 The walled city of Ahmedabad, founded by Sultan Ahmed Shah I in the 15th century, on the eastern bank of the Sabarmati River, presents a rich architectural heritage from the Sultanate period, notably the Badr Citadel, the walls and gates of the fort city and numerous mosques and tombs as well as important Hindu and Jain temples of later periods. The urban fabric is made up of densely packed traditional houses, poles, and gated traditional streets, puras, with characteristic features such as bird feeders, public wells, and religious institutions. The city continued to flourish as the capital of the state of Gujarat for six centuries, up to the present odd 84. 37 The Victorian and Art Deco Ensemble of Mumbai written by Nihar Dash High Court. JPG Theater. JPG Rajabai Clock Tower, Mumbai, 31 August 2008. JPG Mumbai University Admin Block Tamil NADU 490. JPG Maharashtra Late 19th to Early 20th Century 1480, 2018, i.e., if 85. This is a collection of the Victorian Gothic buildings and Art Deco buildings. They are the Bombay High Court, Rajabai Clock Tower, Eero Cinema and Convocation Hall, University of Mumbai, University Library, Mumbai.8687. 38 Japer Japer Japer, Rajasthan, written by Nihar Dash November 18, 1727 2988 The fortified city of Japer, in India's northwestern state of Rajasthan, was founded in 1727 by Sawai Jai Singh II. Unlike other cities in the region, located in hilly terrain, Japer was established on the plain, and built according to a grid plan, interpreted in the light of Vedic architecture. The streets feature continuous colonnaded businesses that intersect in the center, creating large public squares called shoppers. Markets, stalls, residences and temples built along the main streets have uniform facades. The city's urban planning shows an exchange of ideas from ancient Hindu and modern Mal, as well as Western cultures. The grid plan is a model that prevails in the West, while the organization of the different districts refers to traditional Hindu concepts. Designed to be a commercial capital, the city has maintained its local commercial, artisanal and cooperative traditions to this day. 89. 39 Kakatiya Rudrashwara, Ramapa, written by Nihar Dash Temple Ramapa Temple Telangana 1213 C 1570, 2021, I, E, Rudrashwara, popularly known as Ramapa Temple, is located in the village of Palampat approximately 200 km northeast of Hyderabad, in the state of Telangana. It is the main Shiva temple in a walled complex built during the Kakatiya period, 1123-1323 c, under rulers Ganapati Deva and Richarla Rudra Reddy. Construction of the sandstone temple began in 1213 c, and is believed to have continued over some 40 years. The building features decorated beams and pillars of carved granite and dolerite with a distinctive and pyramidal vimana, horizontally stepped tower, made of lightweight porous bricks, so-called floating bricks, which reduced the weight of the roof structures. The temple sculptures of high artistic quality illustrate regional dance customs in Kakatiya culture. 
located at the foothills of a forested area and amidst agricultural fields close to the shores of the Ramapa Chiruvu, a Kakatiya built water reservoir. The choice of setting for the edifice followed the ideology and practice sanctioned in Dharmic texts that temples are to be constructed to form an integral part of a natural setting, including hills, forests, springs, streams, lakes, catchment areas, and agricultural lands. 40 Dalavira, a Harapan city Dalavira Gujarat written by Nihar Dash 3rd to mid 2nd millennium BCE 1645, 2021, e. if, the ancient city of Dalavira is one of the most remarkable and well-preserved urban settlements in South Asia dating from the 3rd to mid 2nd millennium BCE, before Common Era. Discovered in 1968, the site is set apart by its unique characteristics such as its water management system, multi-layered defensive mechanisms, extensive use of stone in construction and special burial structures. Of note is also the art associated with the city, artifacts of various kinds such as copper, shell, stone, jewelry of semi-precious stones, terracotta, gold, ivory have been found at the site. In addition, the interregional trade links associated with Dalavira have also been acknowledged as contributing to the shared heritage of humanity. 91.